Secure Team 10 won't discuss the evidence of aliens being demons. Hopefully that title is clear enough for the content of this video. Now before I get into it, I just want to mention that I'm not here to bash Secure Team 10 or Tyler from Secure Team 10. He's doing his own thing. He posts good UFO footage. I don't watch all of his videos by any means. But the reason why I and others have mentioned the fact that he's hiding a truth from people is because there's a lot of evidence pointing to the fact that aliens are demons and it's just strange for somebody who has been making UFO videos for years and years and years to never even mention this. Now he brought up the point in one of his in his last video about the fact that he's hiding the truth from it and that different channels out there are saying they have the truth about UFOs and aliens and we have a lot more evidence than somebody who just believes that these things are coming from a different planetary system or something of that nature. That's why we claim for it to be a truth and it's important to look at that evidence. So yes, just first off, he's been making videos for five to seven years, his, his oldest video is seven years old. He typed demons in the search on his channel. Not once has there been a single video made about a pretty popular belief in the UFO and alien community, you could say, that these things are demonic and they're of an evil nature interdimensional not extraterrestrial now it is an important thing to point out because people who are being harassed and oppressed by these aliens uh it's a real struggle that people actually go through and to look at some of the evidence that points to why we believe we have this truth is one of the a good resource is alienresistance.org a website that hasn't been updated seems in a long time from what I've checked, but you can see here hundreds of testimonies of people who stopped alien abductions calling on the name of Jesus. Now this is just people who found alien resistance, gave their testimony. This by no means is all the people who have stopped these encounters calling on the name of Jesus. And the fact that there's just hundreds alone here and if you go onto YouTube and type Jesus stops alien abductions, you will see account after account of people who were oppressed by aliens being abducted, encounters with aliens, and it stops when you call on Jesus and the power and authority in his name. That's not a coincidence. That is happening hundreds and hundreds of times. Here's a video by Joe Jordan saying 400 plus cases. Jesus stops military alien abductions when really these are just the forces of evil at work, as well as some of the craft is military black ops, but the abduction encounters and the alien encounters are demonic and they are of a fallen nature. That's why they stop when you call on Jesus. Now, another very interesting thing we can do is look at the Bible at things written hundreds and hundreds of years ago that pertain specifically to what people experience when they stop alien abductions calling on Jesus. Well, first we have 2 Corinthians 11, 14. And no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. So if he can transform himself into an angel of light, he can transform himself into a well-meaning Palladian. Or what is more likely and common to happen is the oppression and the attacks and the molestation that people experience when they encounter the evil aliens, which they all are. Masquerading as an angel of light, not hard to masquerade as a gray who wants to molest and teach you occult knowledge through astral projection and all other forms of connection with aliens. We as well have Luke 10, 17. Then the 70 returned with joy saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. Why are grays and Palladians and all of these different alien races stopping oppressing people when they call in the name of Jesus? Well, here we know that demons are subject to us in the name of Jesus. Another very interesting verse that talks about this is Ephesians 2.2, 2, in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience. That is Satan, the power of the air. Coincidence? I don't think so. Or James 2.19, you believe that there is one God, you do well. Even the demons believe and tremble because they're subject to that God. And how is this all going on on earth? Well, look at Revelation 12, 9. So the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. He was cast to the earth and his angels were cast out with him. So all the evil forces, 
all the demonic realm, all of that is here on Earth. Interdimensional beings that are manipulating and attacking the human race because their one goal is to lead them away from God, which is the entire, which is really the entire thing of the whole alien community when people think that they're all from a different galaxy. Oh, they're the ones who put us here. Oh, they're gonna come save us. Why? The Bible can never be true because there's all these aliens living in different galaxies. What about them? It all leads you away from God. As well as the same with astral projection. When these people contact these entities, all they teach is occult knowledge and it's all against the Bible. None of it's true. It's all new age is what they teach. And does anybody really believe that somebody on their YouTube channel is contacting the people who seeded us on a distant galaxy through astral projection to their 50 people watching them on YouTube. Anybody who believes that, I don't know what to tell you because that's just absolutely ridiculous. The creators, our space brothers are not contacting these people through astral projection for 50 people to watch them on YouTube. It's the most ridiculous thing anyone could ever believe. And many of these mainstream people who love to push this whole ancient alien and all that stuff believe in the astral projection and all of that complete nonsense which is just more opening yourself up to a demonic realm when you open up your body and say uh, let anything come in you of course some weird thing is going to come in you and start talking about occult knowledge and how new age one world one love this deception not that we shouldn't all care for each other and work for the betterment of each other but the one world system and the all new age all new age belief system leading you away from the truth which is in the bible alone and that's really the whole point of all of this. The reason that people believe that there is truth in this and why there is truth in this is because hundreds and hundreds of people have stopped the harassment of aliens calling on the name of Jesus and giving their life to Jesus Christ. When you do that, these things stop. That would not happen if they weren't of the demonic realm as the verses I went over, they're subject to us in the name of Jesus. When you're bought and saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, you are not harassed by aliens anymore. And that's why people say, myself included, that there's a truth that Secure Team 10 has never mentioned. Even if he doesn't subscribe to this belief system or any of that, you would think he would make a video on it at some point over the five years that he's been making videos on YouTube about aliens, you would think that he would make a video on the whole, just the subject matter of aliens being demonic forces and interdimensional forces of evil. I'm sure that doesn't fit into his worldview and he probably doesn't want to put that out to his subscribers, but that is a truth. There's more evidence of this than there is of them being ETs because we have the hundreds and hundreds of testimonies. So that's just the bottom line, really. Jesus has power over these demonic forces, which is what they are. They are dark fallen forces, fallen angels, and all the working of Satan and evil. That's why they're stopped when you call on Jesus Christ. All these, all demonic forces and all evil has to be stopped when you call on Jesus Christ because his name alone is above every other name. Thanks for watching. God bless.